Hello everyone and welcome to Coffee Break Programming and we are already at the lecture number 10 and in today's lecture we will finally see something, we will start see something from the C++ so let's introduce ourselves to C++ in this lecture and more uh, precisely speaking this is our outline for today we will see what is actually a program we have talked about a bit about algorithms and the program is maybe something like an algorithm so then we will see how we can get, get from text to the executable file and then there are two distinct times in programming and where to get the compiler so this is our own outline so let's start with understanding what exactly is a program if we are talking about the C++ programming language the C++ is a programming language for desktop applications meaning that uh, the desktop is our uh, personal computer uh, uh, programming language for, for programs uh, that can be executed on our personal computers so we can execute or, or we, we always um, we often say we can run our programs on our uh, computer so execution and uh, running is uh, synonyms in, in this case and uh, what uh, what, do, uh, what we can run what we can run is called an exe file so the program is actually an exe file so exe file meaning that the uh, extension of the file will be dot exe for example my program dot exe this is a file that can be executed upon a personal computer. Uh, for example, in, in, in the Windows environment, we fi find this file and we can execute or run this program. And uh, therefore we have to um, be aware that there are, actually, there are actually two perceptions. How can we think of this concept? The program. What is a program actually? So the program could be the text that we have written following the rules of C++ language. So uh, as I said before, as I said in the very first lecture I think it was, uh, when we are trying to program in C++ to, to write an algorithm in this C++ language, we will write some text, some textual commands one by one, and this will be our algorithm written as a program in the C++ programming language. So we will write a text, textual document, a text file, we can say. But from the other hand, we have to have an execu exe file, executable file. This is not a text file. This is not the same, of course. The exe, exe file does not contain, <coughs> contain the commands that we write. So this is not a normal text. And so, actually, the programming in C++ is a three-step process. And let's see what are those steps. How can we get the executable file from the text that we have written, we as the developers of the algorithm? So the first step is, of course, write the program as a text. So this is what we are doing as uh, developers of the algorithm. We think out what commands in what sequence need to be written in order to write our algorithm. So this process is done by us, by a, by a programmer in general, generally speaking, or by, uh, by the developers of the algorithm, so by us. We are the programmers, we are the developers of the algorithm, we write the program as a text in the first step. And then the next step is this transformation, which we call the compilation. The compilation is an official uh, concept, official term, and to compile means to transform this written text, which we have written here in the first step, to an executable file, to a file that has this um, extension exe. And this process is done by what is called a C++ compiler. The compiler compiles, so transforms the text to an exe. Okay, and then the final step, the third step, when we have generated the exe file, we have to run or execute this exe file. And this process is again done by the computer, or particularly speaking the operating system, that understands the exe file and the operating system then can execute all commands uh, coded into this exe file. And so we can see that these two steps are both pro 
performed by a computer. And uh, actually, this is what we uh, called before. Uh, we, we, we said that this is done by the performer. So the computer will be our performer in most cases. And this, these two steps are both done by the performer. But now we have to distinguish the two parts of the performer's job. So the first part of the performer's job is to compile our text, to, to generate the exe file. And the second part is to really execute this program as an exe file. So these are two steps done by performer. And we have to always to distinguish those two distinct times in programming. This is a very important aspect in the C++ programming that there will always be those two distinct times in a life cycle of any program. So the first time is the compile time, which is called the compile time. This is a time when the program is being compiled. So when the exe file is being made from our text, from our program text. So this is the first part of the, uh, which we can call the execution of our program. And the second part is the runtime, which is called runtime, when the exe file is actually being run. So the first time is generate exe file, the, the, the first time compile time, and the second part, the runtime, is executing or running the exe file. So compile time and runtime, and those are two different times. And we have to think about both of them separately because di uh, separate, different separate things happen on both of those times. So for example, here are a very important aspect, very important term, which we call compile time errors. So these are errors in our program that can occur because the compiler, the C++ compiler can't understand something in our text. We have written something incorrectly in our text and the compiler can't understand. We have written some command in a wrong manner, for example. So for, exa for example, let's uh, remember that we had, in the, from the last lecture, that we had to introduce the uh, variables for our performer, we said, but actually for the compiler, now we understand better, that we had to, uh, we, we have to introduce or declare the variables for our compiler. And for example, if you want, would, uh, if you would like to introduce a variable x, that will be a variable for storing integer numbers as its values. So if we can't remember correctly how it was to be written, we could write something like that. We, we had to write uh, the type name, if you remember, and then the variable name when declaring a variable. But this is an incorrect type name, integer. There is no such type integer. If you remember, we actually had to write int int x means to declare a variable x that will be an integer number. So this is an incorrect syntax. And if we have written something like that in our text, in our program, then the compiler won't recognize this command. And this will be which is called the compile time error. When the compiler can't understand something in our program. And so if we if the compiler encounters something like that, that in the code, of course, the compiler can't generate the exe file from this error, uh, errorful code, so to say. So the exe file can't be generated if there is compile time errors, uh, uh, error, if there is any compile time errors in our code. Uh, let's say another example of a compile time error here int x, so we have uh, introduced a variable, we have declared the variable correctly in this, ca is this case, int x, like it should be, but after afterwards we try to assign to x something that is not an integer number, for example, a string here, a string of characters in those uh, quotes. Uh, so this is again a compile time error, the compiler can't understand how to execute this command, because here we have said to the compiler that the compiler should allocate 
in its memory a space where to store integer numbers and now we want to put into this space something strange that is not an integer number this can't be done and uh, from the other side here the runtime uh, into uh, during the runtime there can happen of course what is called runtime errors runtime meaning that the exe file has been already generated the compile time has produced uh, an exe file correctly and now this exe file is being run and this is done by the operating system the operating system tries to execute the commands written in the exe file in specific notation but of course again here can occur some errors and these errors are usually um, related to various problems with variables and with the memory usage and we will talk about them later of course when the computer or the operating system can't execute some instruction found in the exe file there could be for example alloc again allocated space for some uh, variable and then we can try to write something bigger in this space that uh, that, it, uh, that uh, don't fit in this memory space or something like that but there can be various uh, problems with memory we'll talk about it um, in more details later but it is very important to distinguish between those two times different times the compile time and afterwards there is the runtime when the execute file is generated the compile time generates exe file the runtime executes or runs the exe file okay and so now if we want to generate the exe file we need to have the compiler the c++ compiler what which is uh, responsible for generating the exe file from our text and so where to get such a compiler actually there are many different uh, free open source packages uh, packages the development uh, environments what are called IDEs meaning integrated development environments and integrated development environments usually include several things it includes the textual editor textual editor for writing our program or our text a program as a text and those textual editors usually include also what is called syntax highlighting options meaning that different uh, things in our text are highlighted in different manners and so we can um, we can see more, more easily uh, the meaning of our programs meaning of different parts of it uh, whereas commands uh, where are commands in our text where are some other parts of this uh, text and so on and then uh, of course also the compiler is included in this package and also the debugger debugger is a uh, um, uh, a, f a feature which allows uh, we uh, allows uh, us to debug our programs debug meaning to get free of bugs on bugs are errors we we programmers just call errors bugs usually it's, it's not uh, it's it's an official term actually as a bug as a uh, as an error in a program and debugger is one that helps us uh, to get rid of those bugs and also different other things can be included in such a development arm environments and in this uh, course i think we will use uh, the dev c++ compiler the dev c++ actually development environment uh, there are also many different uh, other options but this is what i use usually and and uh, in this uh, website we can uh, download um, the free open source package the whole environment uh, let's see uh, how it's so this is a, the website I showed and you just try to download through this download link here and then install on your computer it's very easy to do and just uh, remember to choose the English language when installing the package and because uh, i will show you afterwards in the slides various things about 
about how to use a package, how to use a compiler, how to create programs and execute them and so on. And I will show you the various menu items and everything else in English so so you can follow. So it should be you should be you should cho choose the English language on installing. So yeah, this is uh, actually it for today. This is a short, br a very brief introduction to the basics, very basics of the C++ programming, the main features, the main um, concepts, so to say. So today, in today's lecture, we saw what is understood by this term program, that there are two different things, a textual, a textual program, and then the executable program, okay? And then we saw how we can generate the executable file from the text file, and then we saw the two important distinguishing moments here, two distinct times, the compile time and the runtime of our program, and we saw one option where to get a compiler, a C++ compiler, together with the whole integrated development environment. And now you uh, you should really download this compiler, this environment, install it in your computers and uh, on your computers. And uh, in the next lecture we will try to maybe already write something in C++. So, till the next lecture, subscribe to my channel and see you soon!